Following the mayoral race between Eric Johnson and Scott Griggs tonight, current state representative Eric Johnson has been chosen to lead Dallas as its mayor. He beat out Scott Griggs. Our political reporter Jack Fink has been following the voting numbers as they've been rolling in throughout the evening. What can you tell us about the numbers battle between Johnson and Griggs, Jack? Well, Matt, this is a big victory for State Representative Eric Johnson tonight with just about all of the precincts in. Johnson is the next mayor of Dallas. He's at 56 percent. Versus Scott Griggs, 44 percent. We're at like 98, 99 percent of the precincts reporting. He has maintained a sizable lead all night long. Johnson addressed supporters at the Fairmont Hotel in downtown Dallas just a short time ago, and he spoke about his decision to get into the race. But we had a choice to make as to whether or not we were going to double down on division and name calling. And lack of decorum, and lack of unity of purpose, and lack of unity of spirit, or we were going to change direction. And like so many times in my career, I've decided in this case, and I've decided many times in the past, why wait? Why hope somebody else will come along and solve the problem? If you're capable of solving it, step up to the plate and offer yourself up as a solution. And that's how I got into this race. And Johnson becomes the second African American mayor in Dallas following Ron Kirk. He will be inaugurated June 17th. He had widespread support throughout the city. Some also very exciting council races tonight as well, Matt. Jack, thank you. We'll hear from more from you in just a moment. But back to those council races. Carolyn King Arnold with nearly 53% of the vote over Don Blair. That was in place four, over in place seven. Adam Bazaldua and Tiffany Young are still fighting it out, and it's been back and forth throughout the night with this one, folks. Bazaldua is leading at the moment with 51% in the District 9 race. Paula Blackman has defeated Aaron Moore, taking 52% of the vote. Finally, over in place 14 or District 14, another highly watched race. David Blewett has defeated the incumbent, Philip Kingston, with more than 53% of the vote. Jack, let's get back to the mayor's race. What were some of the key issues that separated Johnson here tonight in his victory? Well, I think Eric Johnson, uh, from the start, his main goal has been he wanted to bring the city together. He wanted to unite the city, the city council, which has been very divisive. And so now that's one of the things that he's going to be doing. I think the other thing is there was a very different message that Eric Johnson had than Scott Griggs. Scott Griggs really wanted to just focus on the basics, city services, public safety, lowering the property tax rate, and also on the crumbling streets and infrastructure. He didn't want to do the big projects, the big vanity, costly projects like the Calatrava bridges. Eric Johnson said there's still room for big projects. And so uh, that's one of the main differences in this race, Matt. Jack, let's also talk about the makeup of the council. Big changes are coming after tonight's results. Well, that's right. This is a more diverse council. We, we showed the results from the 7th Council District before that seesaw. And what I think is very interesting about uh, the 7th uh, Council District race is that here Adam Bezaldoa is a Latino. And so there will be more Latinos on the council that typically has been an African-American uh, district. And at this point, it looks like that he is going to uh, win that race, although there are still three precincts left uh, to go on that. So we'll see. It's been a seesaw all night. There are also going to be more women on the city council. Uh, and so, Well, three and perhaps four if Tiffany Young comes back and wins. And, and so we'll see. And then as far as African Americans, uh, you still have the second mayor. Uh, and so there's, uh, it's definitely more diverse. Jack.